These are some of the designs of the man who was the official poster artist during the Second World War. Born in Whitechapel, Abram Games was one of Britain's most influential graphic designers of the 20th century. Some of his work proved very controversial, as our arts correspondent Brenda Manis has been finding out at a new exhibition. We'd like to say that, in our opinion, it is not suitable for children the BBC's first animated ident, designed by Abraham Games in 1953. The Whitechapel-born son of poor Jewish immigrants became one of the leading graphic designers of the post-war years. To mark the centenary of his birth, a new exhibition opened at the Jewish Museum, celebrating his life and work. He designed over 300 posters and stamps and maps. and um, He was a crazy inventor. He invented um, a copying process and he designed the Kona coffee maker. So I live with all this work all the time. That's because Naomi and her brother Daniel now manage their father's impressive archive of work. He was not an easy man. He worked at, he worked at, <laughs> he worked at home. Uh, so we were constantly in and out of his studio. Cold studio. Sometimes he would work all night to finish something because he was a perfectionist. During his 60-year career, Abraham worked repeatedly with commercial companies but was awarded numerous public commissions. He worked for the General Post Office and London Transport and was appointed official war poster artist during World War II. Some of those posters, like the blonde bombshell, proved rather controversial. She was banned and she was considered far too glamorous, she wore far too much makeup, far too much lipstick. But she was the most successful recruiting poster that I think the army has ever had. The exhibition features over a hundred objects owned by the estate, charting Abraham's career from his early artistic experiments to his celebrated commissions. I think the beauty of this exhibition is it shows something that is, doesn't exist so much now. It shows craftsmanship. And that is something that's almost disappeared. And I think it should be celebrated. And there's a lot of craftsmanship here. The exhibition runs until January. Brenda Imanis, BBC London News.